There's a different kind of storm brewing. That's right, and it is literally out of this world. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration Space Weather Prediction Center has issued a severe geomagnetic storm watch. The solar eruption on your screen was captured by NOAA yesterday afternoon, and there are more to come. The question here in the Delaware Valley is, what does this mean for you? Our weather team luckily has the answers. Let's start with meteorologist Tammy <laughs> Susan. Tammy, you call this the sun spitting at us. Yeah, well, it is basically when it's when it uh, shoots out all of this uh, mass uh, of plasma at us. It's kind of like spitting at us, and sometimes it's right at us, and we get the effect of the northern lights or the aurora borealis. Come on, let's go ahead and talk about this because uh, this is all pretty interesting. I have this uh, this image, this movie that NASA shot, and here is this big sunspot right here. This is known as AR3664. Complicated name, but it is huge. It is 16 times the width of the Earth, and that has been spitting out huge flares, huge pieces of energy in our direction now for several weeks. The impacts from all of this as it comes out and heads toward Earth could create communications, GPS, power grid, spacecraft, satellite, some technology, and airline delay. So this all could be impacted because of this geomagnetic storm coming at us. And that's what it is. When it spits out the plasma, it heads in our direction at about a million miles an hour. This is seven different coronal mass ejections. You can barely see all this coming out. You'll see boof right there. It looks like a cloud coming out of the sun. And those mass ejections are now headed toward Earth. So here, as they approach us, they're going to hit us head on. They're going to hit us tonight. The timing is going to be sometime between about oh, 10 tonight and 2 tomorrow morning. And this is a class 4. That means level 4 out of 5. And it's a high level 4 geomagnetic storm. They have not issued a watch like this in 20 years. Before that, a couple of years before that, in 2003, there was actually an extreme. That would be a level five out of five, and that created all types of havoc. It, it actually created a blackout in places like Sweden. Where you see the red right there, they're going to see an aurora borealis or the northern lights tonight. We are right here on the viewing line. If you look off to the north and the west, if we get any clearing, we could likely see these lights. That is a big if. Grant? Is it going to happen? <laughs> a big question. Are these clouds, is rain going to clear out? I think it clears out. It's just a question of if it clears out in time. There's the line. Areas north are going to have a decent chance of seeing the northern lights here in Philadelphia. Well, clearing looks like it begins around 2 o'clock in the morning. We'll likely see more clearing as we go through tomorrow morning. Sunrise right before 6 o'clock. Let me show you a closer look. I think that time frame between around 3, 4, 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, we should be able to have the clear. Look to the north. We need that northern horizon to clear to be able to see, well, the northern lights. So here's what you need to have. Here's what we need to have here in the Philadelphia area to see the northern lights. We need those skies to clear. I think we have a good chance of that happening. Get away from the light pollution. That light pollution will make it hard to see those northern lights on that northern horizon. And again, look to the north. The best activity expected to be between 10 o'clock tonight through 5 o'clock tomorrow morning. So guys, again, we're just hoping for the clouds to clear and we have a good chance. This is one of the strongest solar storms that we've seen here in, like Tammy said, nearly 20 years. Mm. Fingers you, crossed. You've got me plotting. Uh, maybe maybe the, dro <laughs> the drone at 2.30 in the morning. The I can see you doing that. You know? Okay. I'll look at your tape. Okay. I'm going to be knocked out. <laughs> I'll be awake. <working. laughs>